So I just wanted to rant for a second on Epic Games and Fortnite. So I got Fortnite and I was playing Battle Royale and streaming it on Twitch. I've been getting a lot of views. People were wanting to watch me play. We were actually doing pretty decent. Well, when I signed up for my account originally on, let's see, when was that? On the 29th. Um, I started, I went through the account creation screen and it asked for my username and I put in my usual username and then I was going through and I was like, wait a minute, I wonder if just Rogue was available. And so I go back and I typed it and sure enough, it said the name was available. I'm like, sweet, I'm going to get it. I love when I can get into a game early and I can get just straight Rogue, no, nothing else going on about it. But because I had already entered it, it said it was already tied to my email account. And so in order to rechange that, I had to uh, set open up a ticket and get my name swapped. So I opened up the ticket. And that was on the 29th. Now, days have gone by. And it's now the first. All of a sudden, in my inbox today, I got an email. It says... Where is that email? says, as requested, click below to change the display name associated with your Epic Games account. And so I click it, and sure enough, Rogue is no longer available. And the time it took for this ticket to get to me, the name was taken. Which is no big surprise, it's a pretty desirable name, which is why I wanted it. Oh well, shucks, oh well, I didn't get Rogue, no big deal. But then I logged into Epic Games and I noticed this. Here's my new display name. User 42654687. Yep, that's me. I'm user 42654687. So my gosh dang it. They changed my name to a generic name in the process of giving me the opportunity to change my name. Again, not the world's biggest deal. So I go into the display name and I type in my usual display name to go back to what I already had and I get this com.epicgames.account.display underscore name underscore was underscore used display name was used yeah by me it won't let me have my original name back so I'm stuck as user 42654687. That's the account name I would have to give somebody to add as me as a friend to play with me. That's the name that will be all over my stream when I'm streaming this game on Twitch. So I've opened another ticket, so I guess we'll wait another several days. Meanwhile, I'm not streaming as user 42654687. I'm not doing it. That's horseshit. I absolutely won't do it. And then, to top it off, I can only play this on PC. I cannot even play this on PS4 or Xbox because it says I have, uh, I'm not permitted to on my accounts. Let me actually fire up my Xbox and I'll show you that when we get back to it. But what's going on apparently is in order to play on multiple systems, even if you own the game Fortnite or if you only own the Battle Royale, which is free, or if you paid for Fortnite the full game, it doesn't matter. You have to have an email address and an Epic Games account per system. So I own a PS4, I own an Xbox, I own a PC, and I would have liked to, I have friends that play this game on all of those systems, and I would have liked to have played with them. But I would have to manage a total of six separate accounts with different usernames and email addresses and all that crap just to be able to play with all my friends? That's fucking retarded. I mean, I'm sorry. I know the word, the, the, that word is offensive. But seriously, never go full retard epics games. That's so stupid. Like, you're penalizing people that want to have your games. There are multiple copies of your games. 
What about all the people that actually purchased Fortnite on PS4 and Xbox? Like, this just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. It's so stupid. I'm going to switch over to my Xbox right now, and I'm going to show you what happens when I attempt to uh, launch Fortnite on my Xbox, which is stupid. I can't even believe this right now. User 42654687. How on earth am I supposed to stream and have that be recognizable? I mean, that's just ridiculous. I can't, I can't use that. And that means I'm not going to be streaming Fortnite anymore. I'm not going to be playing any Fortnite anymore. I'm um, going to sit down. Just finished all my yard work and chores and housework for the day. And I was going to sit down and enjoy my Sunday. Go live on Twitch. Stream some gameplay. Get some friends playing with me. And I'm going to watch like Fallout or Ark or something else. Maybe you play some Watch Dogs. I don't know. I got it. I got games I still need to beat. But I'm definitely not playing Fortnite anymore. And it's just I mean Epic Games, what what are you even thinking? This is what happens when policy is made by business people, not gamers. Alright, login in. Check your system privileges. Da -da -da -da. Login failed. Your account cannot play on this platform. Please contact customer support. In order to play Fortnite on my Xbox and my PS4, I'd have to create two new email accounts. And then I'd have to create two new Fort or Epic Games accounts. I can I cannot manage my friends list, my whispers or anything all on one account. No. That's absolutely ridiculous so moral of the story epic games you guys went full retard you guys are making some terrible terrible stupid stupid decisions and i for one am no longer going to be playing your games at all and i'm certainly not going to be streaming your games to my viewers anymore fix your shit guys pull your heads out this is stupid you guys could do better